Konnichiwa, and welcome to the 433rd podcast of the NC Golden County Anime Group. My name is Robert Tyout, and I'm currently the president of the group. Recently, I checked out of the Rowan Pop Library, Zinga Zaga 2, the movie. Now, this is beautifully done computer animation, and uh, I had a great time listening to some of the voice actors in the English dub uh, from different series that I've watched before, like Kinchimura, Eskrae. Uh, there are a lot of old voices that I've heard from many animated series in this uh, edition. Uh, Love the extra bonus material. It was very nicely done. And recommend an H for it. I would have to say 14 now. Uh, there is it's a science fiction thriller. It's based off a science fiction game. Now, we just got this in today from the Rolling Public Library, and we're busy watching it tonight. And this is K on the movie. I uh, just checked it out. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Like I said, I'm going to be watching it tonight. I'm going to go back a little bit and I'm going to talk about two things that happened in my past. Now, back in 2010, I had just finished my first Ichiban convention and did my first panel. I got invited to a nice little event in Concord, North Carolina. It was a crossplay picnic. And I went there and I took JR with me. Uh, let me back to that just a little bit more about this. On that same day, we were having a yard sale at uh, Woodley Flames uh, for about from 9 to 11 and tried to see about raising some money. Now, if you are a leader of an anime group and you have a bunch of people who you can really trust to do this, it's nice to try to pull your resources together and put on a little bit of a yard sale, a little rubbish sale and a uh, great way to raise money for your group and also to uh, put some money in your pocket when you need it. But like I said, on that day, um, I was invited to be going down to Concord to a cosplay picnic. Now, I'd never been to this event, and this was the first time I ever got invited to a cosplay picnic, and I'm going like, okay. And how that happened was when I was at Ichiban Con, somebody got my name and address, and sent me an invite through Facebook. And I'm going like, okay, I'm trying it out. And so I took JR with me, who was one of my members who you've seen in previous podcasts before. And we went down there to Concord. Well, there was this group of young people down there and we, we had a nice little time. We had a little incident happen though. Um, somebody, somebody, for some reason, the, the event was not really coordinated all that well. So nobody brought any cups. So Jared went over to the store where they were selling snow cones and got a whole bunch of snow cones. We used them as cups. And it does work, people, believe it or not. Snow cones will um, fill up and put uh, fluid in and you drink it right up. So I thought that was very interesting. We also had a, a little incident happen. This young lady, she was running around and it was a very warm day, believe it or not, and she had asthma and she forgot to bring her in hell or she had an asthma attack she got overheated so I went over to the store where they were selling the snow cones I bought her a snow cone and got her cooled down and everything and uh, she got better and everything worked out okay now the second time I went to my second crossplay picnic it was in Gold Hill North Carolina uh, they decided to have it then and I took JR with me and also took Cameron who had never been to a crossplay picnic and he took his Yu-Gi-Oh cards and <laughs> showed these people how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Cameron's very good about doing that. And I tried to record some stuff at that crossplay picnic, but because of the wind, the audio messed up so badly on the recording that I just decided to junk it and just say, forget it, it's too badly garbled up, you can't hear what the person was saying. Well, 2012, I wasn't invited to any crossplay picnic. Now, you have to understand, in life, people's relationships change constantly. You'll meet new people, old people will leave you out, leave out of your life, and just the whole situation has changed, and it's constantly evolving. That's the way I see it. So, this year, I decided, well, we'll have a crossplay picnic. I'll have the NC Road County Anime Group sponsor it, and we're having it on August the uh, 17th at the city park down at shelter number one from one to seven when I was at Baca Warrior this past weekend I dropped off a few flyers about that event and also two about our J-pop night that we're having on August 28th 
the area, uh, the main branch of the Royal Public Library from six to eight. I enjoy people who crossplay. I think very highly of them. Uh, I'm, I've been very grateful for what they've done for me. I remember that on amazement when I first went in 2003. I got to meet a bunch of wonderful people dressed up in costume, didn't know what they were dressed up as at the time. And But the nice thing about cosplayers, you can go up and ask them, and they'll basically tell you uh, who they are and what series they're from or what video game they're from, and they usually can run your ear off, which I don't mind one bit. Um, like I said, I have a deep respect for people who cosplay. Well, I hope that you enjoyed watching this podcast today. Oh, before I forget, we will be uh, meeting at the Salisbury Mall on August, I mean September 14th, excuse me, uh, for the Salisbury Mall Community Day at the Salisbury Mall. Thank you for watching this podcast. Goodbye. <laughs>